Hi, I'm Greg Tully. I'm the country director of Save the Dogs here in Romania. And we are, um, we're working around the clock to help the animals who are victims of the crisis in Ukraine. We have a team posted at the border between Ukraine and Romania every day that are, you know, thousands of refugees are coming across and they're handing them um, pet carriers, food, leashes, other supplies, and, and giving them advice about um, which countries they can go to with their pets. And, um, and just last week, we, um, a shelter in Odessa had been attacked by Russians and the, the facilities were damaged. And so they begged us to take 30 of their dogs and bring them here because they didn't have enough space for them. So that was a, a big operation. The um, 30 dogs got here in the middle of the night and we had you know, more than a dozen of our staff here um, settling them in. And, and fortunately, that's, it's gone really well. The dogs are friendly. Um, you know, we're vaccinating them, we're um, assessing their behavior, and, and soon as many as possible will be adopted. Last week, we rescued 30 dogs from a shelter in Odessa, and, um, and there's one of them that really touched me. It was a dog with three legs. It was obviously terrified. Um, you know, it had been through a lot already, and then, you know, it was in a cage in a truck for hours and hours, you know, went through military checkpoints and, um, you know, border crossing. And so, I mean, you could just, you could see the fear in its eyes. And, um, but, you know, it was fantastic when we could see this dog finally come into our shelter here and we'd, we'd made space for the dogs. Um, you know, we let them out into these big runs here and you know, it could, it's so heartwarming to see this dog first sort of timidly sniff around and then go out into its enclosure, running around on his three legs and uh, just really instantly feeling at home. Right. Well, on behalf of everyone at Save the Dogs, I want to thank Greater Good Charities for their incredible support. Um, I mean, we, we couldn't do this without your help, really. You know, for, it started with um, a very generous financial grant, which has helped us to buy pet carriers and other pet supplies and you know, keep volunteers going to the border every day to support refugees. And, and then followed by an extremely generous donation, which is helping us buy 32 tons of pet food, which is going to you know, shelters in Odessa and street dogs in Odessa that are where the, the dogs and cats are literally starving and also going to refugees at the border as well.